Microsoft is killing the remote desktop client on all platforms. And there is a new app which is going to take over the remote desktop client called Windows app. And it offers many other features. It's not just limited to remote desktop, but it's a bad news for Windows users if you use remote desktop client. Not for the other platforms, Mac, Android, iOS, and all that. The Windows app actually works just like uh, remote desktop client. Le let me show you guys actually what I mean. So I actually use Microsoft remote desktop to actually connect to different devices, mostly the Linux devices so I can record and all that. Microsoft remote desktop is actually really good at remote desktop because it gives me the best quality and all that. So when I was testing a few things with Linux, I was trying to do the RDP and I saw this new uh, notification at the top end of support will start on may 27th this is april almost end of april april 23 i think so we have almost one month to transition from this app to windows app so i, I was like let's let's download this it's all right we, we can use windows app guess what you can't sign in with personal account you need a work or school account which i don't have so basically i can't use this application if i want to use the remote desktop i don't know why and what microsoft is trying to do here almost after a month remote desktop client will stop working properly so we'll have to use the new windows app but here is interesting thing windows app on windows <laughs> <laughs> made by Microsoft, this app is also made by Microsoft, doesn't support remote desktop. So that's the reason why like I can't see the remote desktop option, plus I can't sign in. If you wanna sign in, you actually need a work or school account, no matter what. But let me show you guys something here. So on my phone, I have the new Windows app. I'm gonna open this up here. It asks me to sign in, similarly to the Windows app on windows okay but we need a school or work account i don't have that but the thing is i have the remote desktop thingies without signing in i can just click on this and put the pc name and address and all that you got the idea so basically <laughs> the windows app is incomplete in windows itself but it's completed on other platforms okay so on mac os everything works ios everything works chrome os and android everything works but on windows i don't know why it doesn't work the main thing that i'm looking for the remote pc or remote desktop services it doesn't work if you want to access the rest of other things like virtual desktop uh, windows 365 and all that eh, you need a work or a school account they are not for personal use. Um, I'm a bit worried here actually because I actually use remote desktop almost all the time. Maybe before they kill the remote desktop client, they will add the remote desktop features to the Windows app too. We have only one month left and I was working on WSL and uh, let me actually show you guys here. WSL is kinda also not that great for personal use. If you wanna uh, have a full desktop environment, at least the big ones like GNOME, KDE. Oh, okay, somehow it worked. This is actually WSL, okay? I'm just working on something here. I was, I got too excited and then later found out that it's not that great, <laughs> okay? So this is for some another video. I have two videos planned for WSL2, but I'm kind of sad again. This thing is going and the Windows app on Windows itself is incomplete. It doesn't have the remote desktop client, but again, on other devices, Mac, Android, iOS, even Chrome OS have this already. Okay, you don't have to sign in. That's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you have any questions or have any suggestions or if you have a RDP client that you know that works really well, please let me know in the comments. Yeah, that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.